Hello YouTube watchers, 3B Productions here, and we're here today to show you how to build the blood squirting effect you've seen in movies before. Let's get started. Here's your supplies. First, you're going to need to start out with something to power the blood flow through the tube. You can use anything from a uh, soap bottle to a gasoline siphon, which is what this is right here. Then, of course, you're going to need your plastic tubing and then your homemade blood, which is, we use a light mixture of corn syrup, a little bit of water, and red and blue food coloring. And then you're going to need a hot glue gun. Once you have your supplies, next, you do what you got to do to get the, the end of the hose connected to whatever you're using to power the airflow. For me, all I got to do is push this on here and screw this cap off. Once that's done, you take the other end, for me, you got to take the other end of this and plug the hole with hot glue so no air flows out of that side. And let that dry. Once you've done this, you're basically done. Just take out your tubing, fill this end up with your blood, screw it back on, and you're ready to squirt blood. You got your blood squirter. To use it, just shove it up your shirt, have it come out your neck or your arm, wherever you're getting shot or stabbed, and give this in to someone off camera they can squeeze it. Blood will fly out like crazy. In fact, it's good to have more than one kind of blood squirter on hand if you're filming a movie, such as this one. This is the one that uh, 3D Productions used in their latest film, Dusk Rising. We're going to show it now. This is a short clip from our introduction of our movie Dusk Rising. If you'd like to see more, visit 3B Productions on YouTube. Stay classy. So you've got your blood squirt. In our past movie, 3Bs used different kind of. Past, okay, cut.